Dear students in grade 12 scientific section, good afternoon. Hello everyone. Welcome to our session for today in which we are going to talk about unit 11. Well, dear students, dear colleagues, let me first introduce my colleagues in the studio who are going to participate in this seminar. Ms. Wala Safir, an English supervisor from Damascus Countryside Directorate. Good afternoon, Ms. Wala. Good afternoon. And uh, Ms. Rima Ibrahim, an English teacher from Damascus Countryside Directorate. Thank Good you. afternoon, Thank Ms. Rima. Uh, dear students, as you know, the title of Unit 11 for the scientific section is artificial intelligence. So let me uh, use the laptop and uh, try to introduce the contents of this unit. The laptop, please. As you can see, dear students, Unit 11, the title is artificial intelligence. Dear students, uh, the unit map of this uh, uh, lesson, uh, here we have in listening, uh, you're going to, uh, of course, uh, learn how to listen for specific information. Uh, when we talk about the speaking skill, you're going to learn how to discuss opinions. Reading, of course, we're going to read uh, a text about artificial intelligence. In writing, you're going to learn how to write a composition about the uses of artificial intelligence. When we talk about grammar, of course, we're going to discuss the reported speech. In pronunciation, we're going to learn strong, weak forms of auxiliary <coughs> verbs and how they are pronounced. Uh, in vocabulary, of course, we're going to learn some common verbs in science and technology. And, of course, we have... Uh, in everyday English, uh, uh, we're going to learn how to, uh, to express uh, or to, to be tactful to others. Uh, dear students, as you know, uh, the title, as we said, uh, uh, Artificial Intelligence. Let's try to imagine a smart companion in your home that helps you every day. Try to imagine a smart companion in your home that helps you Every day, as you awaken, it prepares your morning coffee just how you like it, strong or creamy. With a friendly good morning greeting, it starts your day. This friend can understand your feelings and give you relaxation tips if you're stressed or celebrate with you when you're happy. In moments of illness, it can act as a skilled medical professional diagnosing and treating symptoms well. Additionally, it can understand how you learn best, offering personalized assistance and motivation as an educational partner. This world where technology is part of our daily life can make us healthier and help us learn better. Is it possible? Let's explore further and see what the future holds. Okay, here, dear students, uh, <coughs> again, uh, uh, we're going to discuss the main ideas of uh, this text entitled yes, Artificial Intelligence. So let me first ask Ms. Wala an important question. Uh, what unique qualities, Ms. Wala, do humans have that make them superior to machines? Yeah. Uh, what makes humans special compared to machines is having some qualities that set them apart from machines. Uh, these qualities include the natural intelligence. Uh, unlike machines, humans uh, have uh, cognitive abilities like uh, critical thinking, for example, uh, problem solving, uh, and uh, these things are beyond control. The other thing that distinguishes humans from uh, the machine uh, is uh, social connection. We are mm. as social creatures, mm. Uh, we have capability or to connect with others, yes. feel sympathy, build relationships w with others, and this is something that machines cannot do. Okay, so what makes humans special compared to machines is have, uh, their m natural intelligence. Yeah. We have in natural intelligence. Yes. Uh, we have the ability to, to connect with communicate. others or to communicate with yes, others. Yeah. Good. Uh, Miss Rima, please. Uh, Another question for you. Uh, here, what is artificial intelligence? Let, let us give a, a definition, definition yes. of this term. 
Uh, actually, artificial intelligence means uh, actually it's a branch of science and engineering specialized in making clever machines capable of thinking and imitating human level intelligence. So we are designing machines, human like behaviors, try to imitate beha uh, human behaviors. So it's a science and engineering, engineering work together to design these machines. Mm -hmm. These machines. So uh, again, yes. because. Uh, Maybe uh, the slide was not very okay. clear. Yes, okay. Now it is clear. Okay, so uh, we define okay. it. We Again, defi please. We define it as, uh, as it a branch, uh, the branch of science and engineering specialized in making clever machines, smart machines, which are able uh, to or capable, ever capable okay. of mm -hmm. thinking and imitating human-like. Uh, intelli uh, human level intelligence. So yes. they are clever machines yes. that are able to, to imitate, imitate human yes, behavior. Hum human behavior. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Another question for you, Ms. Wala. Uh, what is the primary goal of the AI field, please? Yeah. The primary goal of the AI field is to create fully intelligent agents mm -hmm. that can interact with the surroundings and exhibit human like behaviors. These agents can judge matters and differentiate between right and wrong. However, AI doesn't understand these concepts in the human sense. Uh, but uh, its decisions are purely uh, maybe uh, data-driven, mm -hmm. not like humans. Good. Uh, another question, Ms. Rima, please. Yes. What areas does AI currently expand into? Yes. AI we know that artificial intelligence, yes. this field, wide, has expanded yes, widely yes, uh, yes, recently yes, or in recent years. Yes. Uh, we'd like to know the areas in which that AI has expanded. Yes. Okay. AI has expanded into various domains including driving, aviation, medicine, mm -hmm. online advertising, image recognition, and personal assistance. It covers both physical robots and software based agents. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Ms. Wala, please. When did the concept of intelligent agent emerge in AI? Yeah. The concept actually of intelligent agent indeed emerged in the 1990s. This emergence of intelligent agent extended the application of AI beyond computer science, as um, Ms. Rima said, to, to various fields, including health, security, education, music, art, and business applications. Thank you. Ms. Rima, what are some limitations of AI? Can, I mean, AI, yes. artificial intelligence, this term, cover all areas, all fields? I, I mean, or there are some limitations for this course. field. Yes. What are these limitations? Uh, AI lacks common sense preventing it from making judgments beyond acquired knowledge. So uh, let me uh, uh, explain, explain or give uh, an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, they, de they, design, they have designed uh, like a machine so which translates mm -hmm. uh, after the speaker. Okay? I think uh, machine or robo uh, robot cannot, cannot, cannot to do because uh, there's always uh, an embedded message. Mm -hmm. When the speaker says something, I, can, I, ca I think robot can't catch it. Yes. We uh, in uh, some jobs we can replace uh, them by robots. Humans, of course. Yes, yes. Uh, by uh, humans yes, of can't course. be replaced by in, all fields. in all fields. Of course, of course. Of course. Okay. So uh, uh, even though the, uh, written translation mm -hmm. between the lines, uh, there, there is an, an uh, message. We have mm -hmm. maybe. Yes, yes. Yeah. a robot cannot uh, understand sometimes yes, the messages yeah. uh, between the lines be or behind yes. the lines. Behind, yes, yes. yes. Uh, AI lacks common sense, yes. preventing it yes. from making judgments beyond acquired knowledge. <coughs> Another point, please. Yes. In terms of emotional intelligence, mm -hmm. AI can only detect, can only uh, recognize basic human emotions like anger, joy, sadness, stress, pain, fear, and neutrality. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And for example, sometimes uh, we, I smile at some uh, mm -hmm. at someone else, mm -hmm. uh, but I have a message. It's like uh, it's not mm -hmm. a smile. In re it's really not really <laughs> a smile. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, there is something the, hidden yes, behind yes, the smile. That's, that's so a robot cannot, yes, let's say, explain this. Let's explain yeah. this. Yes. Or de Thank you. This. Yes. A good point, Miss yes. Rima. Thank okay. you. Yes. Uh, another question for you, Miss Wala. Uh, how has AI evolved since its inception in the 1950s? Yeah. AI has evolved from its early beginnings as first 
AI started with tests of machine intelligence equivalent to humans in the 1950s. Uh, when we say equivalent, it means equal in value, that amount, uh, importance. Uh, mm -hmm. The term, uh, second, the term of AI gained prominence. When we say gained prominence, it means it became popular. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and was associated with artificial intelligence until the, uh, the late 1980s. In the 1990s, the concept of intelligent agent emerged, extending uh, AI scope, scope beyond computer science. It doesn't do just about computers anymore, and uh, it expands to cover many areas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Uh, another question for you, Ms. Rima. Yes. Uh, what is considered a hurdle for achieving higher levels of personalization in AI or in artificial yes. intelligence? Yes, I think the main, the main obstacle, the main hurdle is emotional intelligence is considered one of the next hurdles for achieving higher levels of personalization in AI. So emotional, when we, how to, we discover, we detect emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, here, again, dear students, dear colleagues, teachers of English in the field, would like to uh, focus on just one point. Yes. Here we are trying to discuss in English mm -hmm. the main ideas of the reading text yes. in Unit 11. Yeah, yeah. Some teachers maybe, some traditional mm -hmm. teachers, yes. try to oppose this mm -hmm. method yes. of how to present the ideas or to introduce yes. the ideas or the contents yes. of the unit. Yeah. They prefer to speak Arabic. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to uh, remind them that mm -hmm. We okay. are, or you are, English teachers, so. so you are not allowed to uh, speak Arabic or to use Arabic at all. You have to, simplify. let's say, simplify, simplify the yes. main ideas of the try text. To clarify try to use simple words, yeah. try okay. to use pictures, okay. photos, yes. PowerPoint, visual, whatsoever, yes. any yes. technique, any type okay. of new technology that may help you to explain yes. the ideas I, of the unit. I, I think the topics of the book, uh, we can't explain it in Arabic. Actually, yes. it's uh, So translation advanced, method advanced, is yes. traditional. So, so yes. um, it is yes. damaging, yes. In, yes. in fact. Yes. Uh, let's go to uh, the question. What is considered a hurdle for achieving higher mm -hmm. levels of personalization in AI? Of course, the emotional yeah, intelligence. intelligence is exactly. The hurdle is the it challenge. Is, yes, it is considered one of the next hurdles for achieving higher levels of personalization yes. okay I'm sorry uh, uh, okay miss uh, sorry sorry the file okay here we are okay we're ready now thank you another question for uh, miss Rima what uh, miss Wala sorry what no interactions <laughs> are required to sustain AI progress yeah sorry uh, to keep making progress in the field of artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. we, uh, rational and harmonic interactions between application-specific projects and research ideas are required. Good. Uh, by having this interaction between uh, two aspects, I mean practical and theoretical, uh, we can ensure that maybe AI will be uh, more advanced in the future. Thank you. Uh, another question, how should fears about technology impact the development of AI. Here, impact is a verb, of course. Yes. How, how should we react to these fears? Mm. Actually, yes. fears about technology should not hinder AI progress, but mm. should motivate the development of a systematic framework for its future growth. So we have to consider it as a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, now, another question for Ms. Wala. What role do machines play in our near future, according to the text. Yeah. Actually, Let's talk about the future. The future and now the we have uh, clever machines in yeah. our real life, yes. okay, in our reality. What can these machines do in the near future? Yeah, many think of machines as the new controllers of uh, our near future. Mm -hmm. They think maybe uh, these uh, smart machines will replace human workers. Uh, but uh, we have to remember that uh, they play a big part of uh, our daily life, but without human guidance, we can't, uh, they can't do anything. So you mean, uh, here, uh, I think the answer here, you mean uh, what do some people think, think or about it, yeah. have about, or have what impression, fear, uh, let's say, what yeah. feelings do, yes, do some people yes. have uh, about, about uh, 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 clever machines yeah. or AI in general, yeah. yes. right? So some people have fears, yes. yeah. and they think that, 
Uh, these so machines the will control our future. They will be the controller, yes. the controllers of our near future. Uh -huh. So other people say, no, no. Uh, it's not no. true. Yes. They can help uh -huh. us. Yes. They can assist us uh -huh. in many fields. They can replace uh, humans in many difficult jobs, uh -huh. risky jobs. Yeah. We're going, of course, to talk about this. Uh, another question for Miss. Uh, we have we don't have questions we have an exercise now yes sorry so but fabulous. before doing this exercise let me again go back to the point uh, which is uh, the clever machines clever yes. machines okay. in the future okay some people as we said think of them as the controllers of the future okay. and other people say no that's not true they can replace the humans for example when we talk about mines when we talk at the, about yes. difficult jobs difficult in jobs. deep okay. oceans, for example, yes. where, the, let's say, the, the conditions are risky, yes. dangerous for people, uh, yes. that's why we mm. use... Uh, Humans can be replaced in this way. Yes, yes. 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 This kind so of. now match these words to their definitions. Of course, we have in the text, in the reading text, some new some vocabs. Words, Let's yes. try to match them <coughs> with their meanings. Yes, yes, Ms. yes please. Yeah. Uh, the first, I have uh, to, uh, to read the first column first. We have agents, aviation, spark, equivalent, neut neutrality, and hinder. The first one, agents, it's F, people or things that do an action. Yes. Number two is aviation. We match it to D. The designing, building, uh, or the flying of aircraft, yeah. aircraft airplanes. Number yes. three, spark, uh, A, a very small burning piece of material. Yes. Number four, equivalent, we match it to P, equal in value, amount, meaning, importance, etc. Yeah, number yes. five, neutrality, C, the state not, uh, of not supporting either side in a disagreement, competition, or war. Yes. Now, finally, uh, hinder, we match it to E, to make it difficult for somebody to do something. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's go on here. We have some question. statements about the reading text. Let's try to decide whether they are true or false and try to correct, correct. the false ones. These uh, kind of questions uh, make uh, our comprehension of the text better. We uh, re, mm -hmm. uh, re of course. Yes. Yeah. So what do you, let's say, advise the students, Ms. Rima? Uh, I always advise my students to like um, make a summary of the main ideas and read uh, the opposite, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, try to think what, what can be the opposite of this idea? How can Good. I, I have the, uh, you have to understand the text fully and deeply and thoroughly, the main ideas, not only translate the word by word Good. by word, it's an so idea you have to understand. So that's what, what yes. we always uh, uh, try to remind our students actually to I do. like I like Curse. yes uh, uh, it is not good to translate the words yes. and to learn them by heart it's not enough mm. uh, uh, it is not useful for you yes. what is useful for you is to use the words to use the words in yes. complete okay. structures and in correct structures yeah. yes and these kind of true or false question uh, make uh, their understanding better yes they yes. make sure that they understand well good. yes good. thank you very much yes. Yeah, the, the first one, mm -hmm. clever machine capable of imitating humans are examples of natural intelligence. Of course, it's false because uh, clever machines capable of imitating humans are examples of artificial intelligence. Not, not natural. Not natural. Yes, natural. Natural intelligence to refers humans. to humans, to humans and yes. animals. Only. And yeah, yes. maybe animals, yeah. Yes. Uh, not Some only humans, animals, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yes. Like penguins, for example. Yes. Yes. Number two, clever machines have the ability to judge matter and distinguish what's wrong. It's true about mm -hmm. the text, yes. Clever machines, yes. They yeah. are able to judge yeah. matter. Yes. yes. Yeah. Number three, artificial intelligence emerged after doing many experiments on machines to imitate humans' behaviors. Uh, it's uh, true. Yes. Thank you. Uh, number four, nowadays AI applications are used in all industries. Uh, it's false because as we, uh, we have already explained that it's... Uh, not in all industries. Not in all industries. Some. Limited, some limited, most limited, 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 yeah. limited, restricted to some uh, very specific applications. Yes, that's yeah. true. And number five, to sustain the progress of AI, there should be a consistent interchange between research, theory, of and practice. That's true. Yes, of that's true. yes. Thank you. Now uh, we have some uh, uh, another title in the unit. Uh, of course, uh, under this title, we have uh, some new vocabs, some verbs used in science and technology. Dear students, in this unit, you're going to learn some verbs or nouns that are used uh, in science and technology. Of course, uh, many students, let's say, uh, uh, must have uh, learned uh, most of them 
yes. uh, in the previous grades. Yes. I mean, in yes. grade 11, grade uh, 10, grade, yes. so yes. they are very common yeah. yes. to all students, but it's okay. It, let's try to revise them. Uh, yes, please. In English, <laughs> Miss Wola, please. Yeah. Sorry. In English, okay. yes. in there English, are some verbs. Yeah. There are some verbs that are commonly used in various fields like engineering, science, technology, me and medicine. They include... Like first, what? Uh, we have experiment. Uh, experiment. Let me yeah. read them, please. Yeah. Can I read them? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Utilize. Yes. So again, experiment. Yes. Utilize. Use. Pull. Extract. Conclude. Insert. Analyze, download, dissect, flash, react, rotate, press, install, and combine. Miss Wala, please. Yeah, we have uh, here an exercise. We yes. have to choose the correct verb. <coughs> the first one we have these chemicals with each other. We have dissect, react, rotate, install. Uh, the correct answer is B, react, because we have chemicals here. They yes. react with each yes. other. Yes. Yeah. Number two, uh, if you, that lever, it starts the machine. The options are pull, dissect, rotate, install. The answer is A, pull. If you pull that lever, it starts the machine. Yeah, this Thank, machine you. Work. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Number three, the uh, zoologist, the organs, Zoologist, the, yes. yeah, uh -huh. the, uh, the organs from the animal. Uh, yeah. We have analyzed, extracted, combined, or inserted. The correct answer is B, extracted. That's okay. right. Ex yes. To extract something is to uh, take it, it out. out. Take yes. out. Yes. Yeah. Number four, when you, uh, that button, it turns the printer on. The options are rotate, dissect, press, install. Uh, the answer is press. If you press the button, you okay, have Okay, here, um, of course, the, the, the correct answer is, is play, uh, press, okay. but maybe there are some buttons nowadays okay. which we can rotate sometimes to, okay. to, to, yeah. to make something yes. work. Right? Right? So I think it's on. better, it's mm. better not to, uh, to, to use the verb rotate here in the options. I mean, yeah. it would be better if yes. we delete this verb because yeah. uh, it will be uh, in the answer. final exam. Yes, yeah. We don't put it, in the final exam. Answer. We always yes. try to uh, uh, study uh, these yeah. options very well, yes. deeply, in yes. fact, because yes. uh, they must be. They mustn't be. Uh, they should not be confusing yeah. uh, yes, for, students. Uh, for the students. Yes. This is what I mean. Because here, some students may. Uh, say okay, rotate the button. <coughs> In our house, yeah. we have buttons that we oh, which we can rotate. rotate. Yes. Okay. And others say not. No, we press the button okay. and so on. Uh, so we have now different types of buttons. Okay. Uh, number five. Uh, yeah. Yes. The last one. They with different liquids. We have extracted, inserted, uh, pressed, and experimented. The correct answer is D. Extracted. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, any grammar now, dear students, we have the reported speech. I think that uh, you know this title very well from grade uh, 9. Maybe. Yes. But here yeah. it's okay. Uh, we'll try to discuss uh, this title in details. Uh, the, di the indirect speech. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, indirect speech, also called reported speech, is a report of what somebody has said that doesn't use their exact words. Mm -hmm. Example. I like ice cream, she said she liked ice cream. So we didn't use the exact word, we changed many things, we changed the pronoun. Because another person yes. is yes. speaking yes. now, not okay. the same person. Not the same person, yes, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. And we changed the, uh, the tense of the sentence. Good. Okay, so it's not indirect. Yeah. Uh, when transforming statements, we have to check whether we have to change pronouns we usually change the pronoun, uh, the pronouns to match the speaker. Yes. We also change a place and time expressions, but not all the time. If there yeah. is a change in the place, in the place yeah, or there is a change in the time. In the yes. time. If yeah. there is no change, we can or use we the can same word. Yesterday, 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 last night, yeah, here, here. etc. Yes. Yeah, but if there is a change, we have to use We have to change. Okay. That's And the, the last one, tenses, we call it uh, backshift. Back yes. uh, the tense of the verb often changes uh, to the past form. We go a step backwards. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. 
regarding pronouns and possessive adjectives. In indirect speech, we often uh, need to modify pronouns to maintain clarity, to, to make sure that everything is clear. And we have to uh, read, uh, we, we have to know that uh, I, the first person uh, speaker, uh, in indirect speech must be he, she, or you. We uh, uh, should be changed to you and they. I think there is yes. no need to read them. Yes. Maybe okay. most students uh, okay. no, know no, them. Yeah. I uh, care for, I care more uh, about, uh, let's say, the examples, yes. giving yes. examples yes. and to practice yeah. uh, the rule. Yes. I okay. don't like to give fixed yes. rules. Yeah. I don't. I'd like to give the students Even examples. Practical. Yes, also practical. I told Something my students, don't memorize them. You have, you can uh, uh, conduct yes. them. Yes. Yeah. Did, did use them. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's yes. let's try to give examples now. Uh, we have yeah. time and place uh, references here. Again. Yes, here, there. Okay, here, there. Uh, now, then, today, that day, tomorrow, the next day. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, the previous day. Yes. yes. Ago. Ago. Before. Before. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, Ms. Wola, please, uh, no, let's start with the present simple. Yeah, we're talking about statement here. We have a present simple. The sentence uh, marks uh, say, uh, I usually wake up at 7 o'clock a.m. Uh, uh, we have to change it to the past. Now, uh, Mark is the speaker. Yeah, the here. speaker. And we have direct speech here. But uh, we have to, uh, to make it indirect. Mark said that we have to change uh, the first person pronoun, I to he. Mark said that he. Usually, mm -hmm. wake up, we change it to the past simple, woke up at mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. So here we're trying to report uh, Mark's speech. Mark, yeah. Okay, so okay. we are Without the speaker the now, the, we the are meaning. the speakers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Present, pre present continuous, uh, to be past continuous. Mark, I am playing the piano. Mark said that he was playing the piano. So as you can see, uh, we, we changed the, the pronoun I into he because Mark uh, is the speaker and we changed I'm playing to pa uh, past continuous to was playing. Thank yes. Yeah. We have now present perfect. I have eaten a lot. Mark said that he had eaten a lot. So we change present perfect to the past perfect. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and here, here we have past simple tense. I, uh, sentence. I went to the supermarket. We changed it to past perfect. Mark said that he had gone. Notice, uh, dear students, that went, it must be sh uh, past perfect, which had plus verb uh, three to the supermarket. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we have a future, for example, with will. I'll buy milk. Mark said that he, we have to change will to would, mm -hmm. and then we have to uh, to remain the verb zero. We have the uh, model. Uh, yeah, we have to put buy here, not uh, go. Yes. Yeah, or we could okay. say we, uh, he would go to buy milk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mark said that he would go to buy, oh, okay, or, or, would or buy. he would buy. It's okay, yes. it's okay. Both are correct, yes. Uh, now, uh, when we talk about reported speech, dear students, you should know that we can also report questions, questions yes. not only statements. Yes. When we talk about questions, we have two type of co two types of questions, as yes. you know, WH questions yes. and yes, yes, yes no, no questions. questions. Yes. Let's talk about reporting questions, Ms. Rima. Yes, uh, WH question, the first one. In reported WH questions, we use the first, we have to put the WH word, then we have to uh, mention or write the subject, then the verb. And there is an important point we have to mention that we, uh, we reorder the, the question as affirmative sentence. So okay. we have to look for the subject, then we have to put the, uh, the verb in the correct tense. The example here What are you doing? Tom asked. Tom asked me, for example, what we put the wh word then i have to know who what uh, who is the subject so mm -hmm. we, uh, we uh, from me i can understand that the subject is i the then subject pronoun is yes, i yes. that's correct uh, then we have to change the tense of the sentence which is present continuous as we uh, earlier said uh, past continuous and we drop the uh, question mark we put a, a full stop yes okay here in questions dear students you should know that we have always inversion Yes. I mean, the auxiliary verb yes. and the subject are inverted, inverted. when we yes. make questions. Yes. We should use the auxiliary verb before the subject. Yes. But when we include, let's say, a yes. question yes. in a statement, yes. here the question is, make what are you doing? And the sentence here is, Tom asked. Tom so asked. we include a question yes. in yes. a yes. statement. Yes. When we include a question in a statement, yes. we must yes. delete the inversion. No inversion at all 
when we yes. use the reported yeah, speech. The so he, Tom asked me if I, or what I. Tom asked, Wala, hmm. what she? Tom hmm. asked, no. Ali, what, what he? he? Yes. Etc. So yes. from the object Depending pronoun, the object we pronoun. know yes. the subject the yes. pronoun. Actually, Good. I have to mention a point. If the, if the subject uh, is the subject in the question you, but if uh, it's he or she or a proper noun, we mention it as it is. Good. Okay, what is Ahmed doing? We say yes. we can't change it. Of course. Okay, yes. of course. Thank you. Another example. So don't forget, reported questions are like statements, yes. so we do not need the mm -hmm. question mark. Yeah. Yes. Also, so remove the inverted commas, commas again. Okay. Thank yes. you. Uh, another example, Ms. Wara, please. Yes, uh, we have yes, another, no another no. question. We have yes, no question. A reported yes, no question. We use if or whether uh, plus subject and then the verb, as you said, uh, sir. Mm. Uh, there's uh, a small difference between this question and WH question. Let's, let's uh, explain. Here we have an example. Will you be here? Tom asked. It's a direct question. So it question. could be yes, it could <coughs> be no. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Tom asked me, so the question uh, is uh, directed to me. Tom asked me, we have to put if or whether, then we have to put the, uh, the, subject. the subject according to, to me, it's I. Mm. If I, I have to change will to would. Okay. After it, we have zero form. I, if I would be the, we change here to the. Thank you. Instead of a question word here, as uh, Anot said here, mm -hmm. we have uh, to use if or whether. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, Okay. Reporting Another report, point. Ms. Reporting Ms. questions was do. Where do they come from? Tom asked. Tom asked me where they came from. We don't have do or does or did in the. Of course, because uh, we use the, do here uh, in the, the question. question. Okay. So in so the reported in speech, we're we not asking, so yes. we don't use do or okay. did. First. So because we changed it into a statement, so yes. we don't need the auxiliary verb here. Yes. So yes. we drop it. Yes. Reported questions are like positive statements, so we don't need the auxiliary verb do. In this case, do in, is present, so we, we change the main verb come into past simple, which is came. Thank so you. In this I think we have an exercise now. Uh, before the exercise, not, not we, yet. Have <laughs> okay. yeah, we have another did. point. Yes, yeah. about this. Uh, reporting questions with did. If we mm -hmm. have did, for example, this one, uh, did you see Jane? Tom asked. Tom asked me if I. I have to put the subject first, then we have to omit did and yes. put uh, the main Make verb in, uh, in the past perfect. perfect. Yes. If I had seen a Jane. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, word. Word or the word or reported, the reported questions. questions. How fast can you run? Tom asked. Tom asked me how fast I could run. So we uh, order it like this. Uh, was first uh, speaker, then uh, reported the ver reporting verb in the past. Then we have to put the question word, uh, or we, if, we don't, if we don't have question word, we put if, then the subject, then the verb in the correct in the suitable tense. Yes. Thank you. Now we have an exercise. Wait, yes, finally. Yes. Okay, let's have let's do an exercise now. Choose the correct answer, Miss Wilder, please. Yeah. The first, uh, the first one. It's a statement. My brother got married a year ago. She said that her brother, we have get, has got, had got, had been getting married a year before, uh, because the main stat uh, the main statement is in the past uh, symbol. We have to choose C, had got, past perfect. Okay. Number two, the train arrives on time. She said that the train uh, arrived on time. So because we, the tense of the main sentence is in present simple, we have to, ch to change it into past simple, which is arrived. Thank you. Yeah. Number three, it's a yes, no question. Did Ali ring you an hour ago? Janet wanted to know whether Ali rings, Ali rang, has Ali rung, uh, rung or Ali had rung? Yes. The correct answer is D because we have the subject, then the verb. And uh, we have to choose past. It's in the past symbol. We omit it and we choose past perfect. Yes. Number four, why do you want a job? She asked him why he wanted that the job. So uh, we put uh, the, uh, we have to uh, highlight the point that we don't need a date here. We have to reorder the sentence, the correct uh, order. So we put the subject here, then the correct tense, which is wanted because the first, uh, the main sentence in present simple. Thank you. Okay. In pronunciation, dear students, I think uh, the point is very uh, easy. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the skill here, yes. weak 
strong and weak forms of auxiliary yeah. verbs. Yeah. Yes, Wala, please. Yeah, well, we have, uh, for example, let's uh, say, don't. Uh, it is not ready? Yeah. Yeah, Here. Right. Yeah, strong right. forms oh, of auxiliary right. verbs. Yeah, we have uh, strong forms. No. Yeah. I'll yes. start yeah. with it, yes. Yeah, sorry. We use the strong form when the auxiliary verb is at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. So when we say at the end of the sentence, maybe it's an answer. Uh, mm -hmm. The strong form of a word is used when we want to emphasize it or when we are speaking carefully and distinctly. When mm -hmm. we emphasize something and mm -hmm. we want a message to, uh, to yes. give uh, it to someone. To it uh, happens in situations where clarity or contra uh, contrast is essential. In, st in the strong form, the word is pronounced fully with a clear vo uh, vowel sound and, and consonants. consonants. For example, yes, yes I, I am, am late. I am late. Not yes. am, we say yes. I am late. Mm. Yes, yes, I am late. Yeah. Not yes. Um. yes. Mm. Okay. We use Sarima. we use uh, the weak form when the auxiliary verbs are at the beginning, questions, or in the middle of the sentence. The weak form is more common in everyday speech. Actually, weak forms often involve reduced vowel. So how we how we pronounce them? Reduced vowel sounds and sometimes dropped consonant. So we uh, we hardly say uh, mm -hmm. the vowel sound and we drop uh, the consonant. Example: uh, Are they going? This gets fast. Thank you. Uh, I think exercise. now uh, we have an exercise. Yeah. Uh, are the auxiliary verbs in bold, weak, or, or strong. strong? Yeah. In yes, bold. please. The first one uh, has he paid the bill? No, he hasn't. So it's a strong because it's an answer at, at the, the end. end. Yes. Number end. two, she was late. Weak because it's in the middle of the sentence. She was late. She was. Yeah. She, she was. was, yes, she she was, was. late. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, it's okay. Number three. Uh, can I help you? Sure, you can. It's a strong also. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Weak because in the middle of the sentence and it's short. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Number five. Where's the John? It's also weak because it's in the middle and it's a question. Thank yes. you. Number six. The girls are beautiful. It's also weak. Yes. The, the last middle. one. Uh, does he earn a good living? Yes, he does. It's a strong so it's a at the answer. end. Okay. Thank you. Being tactful. And the last one, does he earn a good living? Yes, yes he, he does. does. Yeah. Yes, he does. That's it. Now, I think everything uh, we covered almost everything has been yes. done. Yes. We <laughs> have covered, uh, let's say, most of the important skills in yes. uh, this unit. But uh, before uh, uh, we finish this uh, session, or we end this session, mm. I'd like to uh, remind the students uh, of something which is very important indeed, uh, which is the reading texts. Some maybe, some, some of the students or some of the teachers, I don't know, uh, let's say, say that uh, don't, let's say, uh, study the last unit two units, uh, yeah. or two units yeah. in your book yeah. uh, for the final exam. Mm -hmm. Dear students, I'd like to inform you that all the reading texts are important from the unit 1 importance. till unit 12. Yes. You are a baccalaureate student. Yes. All the reading texts are important. There is no difference between unit 1 and, and unit, unit 12. 12. So it could be, I mean, the reading text in the final exam, it could be from unit 12, from unit 11, from any unit. So don't ever try to delete or to ignore, let's say, any reading text at all. Don't listen to uh, the this is, this is number one. Uh, number two, when we want to uh, uh, write, again, my advice, my advice to you all, don't learn by heart any composition for the final exam. Yes. You know that the composition uh, will be parallel, I mean, not from your book. It is related to one of the topics in your yes. book, it's okay, but it won't be from the book. So, I mean literally, no. Yeah. So try to practice writing. writing try skills. to, to, to uh, let's say, do uh, a lot of exercises about writing. Alternative. Try to improve your writing. First, try to write a sentence. Then try to connect Combine. two statements together. Try to use connecting words. Try to use punctuation marks correctly. Yes. Try to use capitalization. Yes. All these things, uh, try to focus on these points again the composition won't be from the book don't Listen learn by heart text. any any composition yes. because it will be harmful yes 
uh, at the end, uh, dear students, dear colleagues, let me thank uh, my dear colleagues in the studio who participated in this seminar. Ms. Wala Safir, an English supervisor from Damascus Countryside Directorate. Thanks, Ms. Wala, for coming, for your so participation. Ms. Uh, Rima Ibrahim, English teacher from Damascus Countryside Directorate. Yes. Thank you very much, thank Ms. You, Rima. Thank you. Thank you so uh, dear students, um, before we uh, say goodbye, we wish you all a happy Eid. Uh, see you after the Eid. Till we see you, uh, we wish you all the best and goodbye. Thank you.